this review is going to be a little bit different. <laughs> I did a top-down view of the product like I normally do to show the details, the, the, the knobs, the switches, the connections, all of that, the weight. Uh, but then I kept running into a problem, not with the video, but with the product. I reached out to Creative Labs to see if they can help me. They were not really interested in helping me. I got frustrated and I returned it. So I was going to make a, 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 this was going to be the end of my video where I explained the problem. When I went back to look at my footage, uh, everything was at frame, uh, five frames per second for whatever reason. I can't explain it. I don't know. Um, I did view it the first time and I think maybe the file got corrupted or something. Regardless, I don't have that footage. So what I'm going to be doing is looking at the website and then I'm going to go over what my problem was so that you don't run into the same thing. So let's go. Hey everybody, Seriously Tech Stuff, and this is the review of the Creative Lab Audio A3, the USB audio interface with high resolution recording and playback. And if you watch the intro to this, you'll know why we're looking at a website and not the actual product. And I'll get into that a little bit later uh, with some details. But let's just go over this thing. I think this thing is fantastic if you want to use this for content creation or music recording, voice recording. It, it is stellar. Now, the reason I bought this thing, and I'll show you why. Uh, I'm using an Evo 4, which does not have these things. One, it does not have a direct input for mobile with a volume. A volume for direct, right there, it's a knob, it's volume. You have a separate volume for your inputs, A and B. You have a direct monitoring, which is, you know, mic monitoring. Uh, a button right there, a mute button. I, I it's just, it's just, I saw that and I teared up. And then you have separate volumes. Look at this. One for your speakers, one for headphone A, and one for headphone B. That's right. You got two headphone jacks right there. So when I compare headphones, I can just plug them up, get the volumes right because they might be different in pins. Boom. Done. There you go. Here's another side panel look at this thing. Headphone A, headphone B. This thing is amazing for what it does. Metal construction. It is fantastic. The sound quality coming out of the headphones is really, really good. Uh, it, it's, I mean, it's Creative Labs, right? The quality is is really good. Uh, let's look at the back, and then of course here you go. Here's your output for your speakers, and then you have your line in or instrument. Now that's XLR mic or like a you know guitar, and then of course you have to set it with this right here. 48 volt Phantom uh, on. I don't know if that's for both or not now that i think about it i guess it is for both uh and they're probably whatever you got plugged in and then here's your input for your 3.5 millimeter now what i use this for is i play on pc but i do have uh, a, a console and sometimes i want to watch a video on my computer while i play a console game well how do i do that how do i hear it well you plug this little jobby with a 3.5 millimeter jack take the other end of the cable plug it in your controller you got sound through your pc and you can watch a video at the same time. There you go. Done. Anyway, USB-C for the power and the control for this thing. It's it's very easy. The software is is very basic. I don't even really have to show you the software. It's like it, it goes down here at the bottom and you pop it up and you can control your sample rate. And that's it. Everything else is controlled on here. It's very analog. And I like that. I like to look over at it and not have to be in the middle of a game and bring up a separate app to control volume. Who likes that? So anyway, so that's what we got. So again, if you say are doing a podcast with two people, this is a no brainer. This this would work perfectly well. Uh, if you are um, say a recording artist or a wannabe uh, and you've got a mic and you got a guitar, this is a no brainer. It's You got everything you need right here. Um, if you just do you know content creation like me and just talking to a microphone it's perfect it runs great it's awesome it's 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 amazing now let's look at some specs that are just happen to be on the website go down here 
This explains everything I just explained. For streamers, for musicians, for podcasters. It, yeah, it, it works. I mean, it all works. Uh, da, 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 you have you know multiple outputs and inputs for streaming, all that kind of stuff. Effortless recording and streaming. It, it's You got it all. And a small package, relatively exp- inexpensive. It's on sale right now for $129.99. Here are the specs. You can look at this at your leisure. Here's the requirements for the software, which is basically a computer uh, or a Mac. And so that's it. So why am I why am I doing this, and why did I, you know, return it? Well, because <laughs> this 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 right here. See this connection right here. This is your mic. Okay, you can use either one of these. It doesn't matter. Um, if you happen to want to talk to people in any game, I couldn't. Even Xbox Party Chat, it tells me it does not detect my microphone. Now, I have used, which I'm using right now, the Universal Audio Volt 1. Works perfectly in games. I have also used the Evo 4. Works perfectly in games. The um, Roland Bridgecast. Works perfect in games. XLR, I mean the uh, Elgato uh, Web LXR. Works perfect in games, even though that's about all it does. Piece of crap. Uh... Those all work perfectly fine. I didn't have to interact with those at all to get it to work in any game. It just default communication and it just works. This, I cannot talk to anybody. Helldivers 2, Halo Infinite, any Counter Strike, sorry, any Call of Duty, uh, basically any multiplayer game that I played, even if it said, hey, you're using the creative. A3 microphone, it would not work. No one could hear me. It would not see the microphone. So then I tried, I went back and I tried, you know, I plugged in my Volt 1. Worked perfect. I plugged in my Evo 4. It, it worked perfect. I even plugged in my old for- Focusrite Scarlet something or other that I've recently sold, which is the good riddance. Uh, it worked perfectly fine. Just as, like it's as expected. They all work. This one does not. So I reached out to Creative Labs and told them, Hey, this is a problem. Uh, it doesn't work. And after like two or three email responses of them asking me the dumbest questions, like, is it plugged in? Did you load the drivers? Uh, I explained to them exactly what I did, listed all the products that I tried in the interim, said that they all worked, and said, your response is, is completely unacceptable. You're creative labs. You, you, you're creative labs. I mean, so the response was okay well, hang on basically and about three days later they sent me a reddit link of people having the same issue with with no fix so basically they reiterated that oh everybody's having this issue we can't help you that is why i returned this product that is why i returned it this thing was my dream audio interface I even plugged up a USB I plugged up a USB microphone just to talk to people in games. And then I'm looking at my desk, looking at my pod mic and my my live audio and all of this really nice gear and I'm talking to people with a USB I'm like, "No, that's not acceptable. I'm not doing that. I'm not doing that." So, I sent it back and I told them I sent it back. I'm like, "I I don't accept your product." it's it's not it it does i guess it does exactly what it says it does although it doesn't say hey you can talk to people in games so with with that i don't recommend this if you want to use this for everything if you are just making uh, content if you are just doing podcasting if you are just doing music it, it, get it it's great it's a great product right now it's 129.99 if you want to play any game and talk to someone pass keep on trucking so I went back to my Universal Audio Volt One, which has never failed me. Even though it just it does, it's not feature rich as far as gaming or, or you know anything. But that's what you're listening to right now. So you know, take that as you will. So sorry for the lame uh, review. I wasn't going to do a review of this, but I felt like you need to know this. If you were looking at this as an as an all in one, it's not. Look at something else. Uh, an Evo 4 would be great. A Roland Bridgecast is amazing. Uh, even the Universal Audio Volt 1, which is the same price as this guy, 
works. It actually works. So that's it. That's the review. Uh, thanks for, you know, at least checking out this lame ass way of doing a video, but, uh, you know, it's after return the product, I couldn't, couldn't really, you know, help it. My, my video was crapped. So anyway, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one where I promise to have, you know, actual live video.